Hey guys, electricity in tube amps can be dangerous and deadly. Please take the time to pause this and read the safety warning and please be safe. Welcome back and uh, tuning in to this is part three of the 57 Mini Tweed 5F1 uh, combo amp from, from stumac.com. In uh, today's video, we're gonna start prepping the, uh, the circuit board and starting to prep the chassis mounting uh, the outside pieces. On this first part here, we're going to prep the circuit board. We're going to tape them together, uh, mark out some holes, and then drill some holes uh, to prepare it to get ready to get mounted in the chassis. And the first step, we got the two boards. This is the backing board here. This is what goes in the back to prevent uh, the components that'll eventually get mounted to the front from grounding out onto the chassis. But as you see, there's no holes. So uh, according to the instructions, we have to tape them together, which allowed them uh, uh, to be able to mark out the holes, both on the board and also inside the chassis to, to, to drill the holes through, through the back here, which will allow, eventually allow the, the mounting screws to, to go through and get this mounted to the inside. So go ahead and I'll, I'll get that taped up first. All right, let's use some masking tapes. Now the two boards are taped together. Now the structure has me putting it inside the chassis and then marking out these two holes here uh, which will allow me to drill all the way through this to get it so it would be able to get mounted inside the chassis. Okay I had put this inside and I, I don't know if you could see it but I got these two holes marked so I'm going to go ahead now and uh, drill the, the holes through both boards per the instructions. Okay got the uh, two five thirty seconds holes drilled and uh, this instructor now tell me to set this aside and we'll start prepping and uh, mounting some of the other components onto the chassis. All right, next step, we're gonna start um, mounting the power transformer inside. And in addition, there's uh, two terminal strips that go on the corners of here that uh, serve as, as grounding points. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that started. So to prepare the uh, terminal strips, instructions want me to go ahead and and cut this down in half. I guess these because these holes are a little bit small and don't fit over the, the power transformer. By cutting them, allow you allow them to butt up against it, but not have to go over the lug nut. And additionally, it wants me to use some some of the ground wire, and this is going to get laced into the terminal lugs to to kind of create a, a ground bus and to tie all three sections together. All right, so I got the terminal lugs ready ready for soldering. Uh, I snipped the base here and then took a one inch piece of, uh, of the, the ground wire which was solid core and then just laced it in and they both look like this. Uh, now I want to make the solder joints to uh, solder the ground wire to, and to, to, make, to electrically link all three terminals together. All right, I got the first terminal strip uh, in my panel vise. Go put a little bit of rosin on each one of the joint, joint places to help the solder stick, especially to the center one because there's no mechanical wrap. And then I'm gonna make the solder joint. And do the same thing for the second one.
All right, both, both complete. Now the next step, I'm going to take the uh, power transformer along with those two terminal lugs we just did and mount it inside the chassis. And it took some, took some doing. It's a very tight to get those strips in there on those nuts. Had to use a pair of a needle nose pliers, but uh, power transformer and uh, the ground strips are ready to go. Uh, next step is going to be mounting the output transformer. So we're going to have put in these two rubber grommets on the hole to protect the wires as they come through, and then uh, just mount the output transformer on the back side. Got here, got the rubber grommets in place, and now I'm going to go ahead and mount the output transformer. All right, got the output transformer mounted up, and both the lead wires coming back through into the inside chassis through the holes with the grommets we just placed right here and here. All right, next step, it's got us to go ahead and install on the speaker mount out, output jack, which is uh, right here in between the 12AX7 tube and the 6V6 output tube. So we'll go ahead and mount that on the chassis. All right, so we got the speaker RCA plug on the chassis installed. Just got uh, a little screw that uh, fits through the chassis and you just put it on here and tighten it down. Pretty simple. All right, next few steps have us installing the tube socket and, and tension clips. So we're going to do the 5Y3, the 6V6, and the 12AX7. And this is what they look like. So you got the 5Y3 and 6V6, a little bit larger. But they're uh, tension clips to keep the tubes in the socket. And then here's the, the base plate for the 12AX7. And here's what the 12AX7 looks like uh, outside of its wrapping. It uh, actually has a shield that actually covers and, and, and puts a little bit of pressure on it. It's a little bit different than the, uh, the tension clips on the other two sockets. It's also very a little bit smaller too. All right, got all three tube sockets in place. Uh, note that uh, in the instructions it has pin one uh, going up towards the top of the chassis. So these are octal, so they got eight pins, and this 12x7 has nine pins. So in this case, the keystone is uh, pointing this way on uh, all three tubes or tube sockets. All right, next part of the instructions got me go ahead and, and uh, adding the power call power cord coming in from the the wall uh, and the strain relief. And the instructions has me trimming back. A seven and a half inch of the power cord and then trimming the black lead to five inches the, the green ground to three and then leaving the white nine and a half inches long so go ahead and prep that and get that mounted into the chassis all right I got the uh, outer shielding of the power cable we got that stripped back now I'm gonna go cut each one of these to length now I got got them all trimmed down to the length which instructions said five inches for the black three inches for the green and uh, nine and a half for the white and now I want to go ahead and mount them mount this to inside the chassis along with the strain relief plug which uh, is this little plastic piece right here all right now I got the power cord mounted and inside the strain relief uh, took some needle nose pliers to get that fully in there it's uh, quite a tight fit with that strain relief uh, next step we're going to install the fuse socket and the pilot lamp socket. Fuse, fuse goes right here and the pilot lamp will be going right here on the chassis. All right, got the fuse holder and the receptacle for the uh, lamp when it's powered on, both mounted inside. Uh, next step, we're going to be installing the, the volume pot, which also turns on, on and off. That'll be right here. And the instructions tell me there's a little post here, a little post on the side that helps uh, keep it from spinning. It wants me to go ahead and break that off. So I'm just going to use a pair of needle nose pliers and bend that off. Go ahead and get this mounted up. All right, got the uh, on off volume pot mounted without the knob on top. Uh, next step, we're going to be in installing the audio or the instrument input jacks which also has a one meg resistor 
interlaced uh, interlaced with the two to help do the, the tone shaping when the, when the signal comes in. So we'll go ahead and uh, get those installed. Uh, it was a little difficult getting that laced in there, but I got it. went ahead and got the two instrument jacks done and you can see the, the one meg resistor it's right there interlaced for, uh, for the instructions. All right, next step, we're gonna be connecting all the power coming off the power transformer and from the AC mains. So we're gonna be doing the connecting the power cord leads, power transformer black leads, power transformer green leads, power transfer red yellow lead, power transfer red lead, and the power transfer yellow leads. Uh, these are basically all the different pairs coming off the power transformer. So we have the, the green, and we're just gonna power the filaments coming first going through the lamp. The yellow are the powering the filaments coming down to the rectifier tube. The red are going to be the main power coming out the power transformer. We've got the center tap coming down to the ground. And we have the white and the black coming in through the volume pop powering uh, the transformer itself. So I'll get those all hooked up and uh, ready to go. Okay, I started out with uh, doing the the hot and the common on the the power AC mains took the white coming into the, the bottom lug here on the volume pot slash power pot and the black main on the back side of the amp post uh, if you would have put it on this this side that would have mean power and this potential shock hazard so it's better standard practice to do it in the back uh, to lessen chance of getting shocked and uh, this uh, that's also recommended in the instructions so they did have a special note about that All right, got the two black windings coming off the power transfer soldered off. The one went to this top portion of the amp, uh, or the correction, the fuse. The other one went to the second po post on the back of the volume uh, power switch. All right, got the two uh, filament power wires coming off. They're coming on and they're hooked onto the lamp. Uh, they're not soldered yet, but uh, I did have to pre-tend the leads, and uh, they're, they're just mechanically in place right now, just with the loop of the, each one. It was a uh, kind of close and difficult to solder, but I got the center tap and the main ground coming off the main power cord. Got them both soldered down to this lower left uh, ground and tab down here. All right, I got the, the last leads coming off the power transformer. Uh, mechanically put in. I got the uh, on the back the high voltage coming off the transformer going to pins four and six and the filament wires coming down to pins two and eight. Uh, instructions say not to solder but they're they're in there just mechanically right now. In the last few steps to go ahead and finish up uh, the wiring at least from the output and power transformer I'm going to be doing uh, connecting the blue and yellow leads coming out of the output transformer to the speaker jack and to the output tube, the 6V6. And then it looks like they wants me to put a, a ground coming off the volume pot coming down to this, this ground lug up here. So go ahead and get that done. All right, that was a very tight solder joint to get in underneath this lamp. But uh, I got the ground underneath and coming up to the last Last pin on the volume pots so that's finishing the ground. All right, and the last two wires are ran. Got the uh, the blue wire coming out of the output transformer going to pin three of the output two, the 6B6. And we have the speaker wire coming out of the output transformer coming to the center pole of the RCA jack. Uh, neither one of these are soldered, but they're just in there mechanically right now. Okay, this seems like a good stopping point for this video. Uh, we're going to be transitioning into doing uh, the, the circuit board next. Let's uh, kind of recap what we did in this video. We started with the blank chassis. Uh, beginning, we went ahead and we mounted in both the power transformer and the output transfer on the outside. Uh, ran all the wires on the inside. Uh, put in the AC mains coming in with the, the strain relief. Mounted the grounding three strip lugs uh, 
with the power transformer and then ran all the pairs come all the taps coming out of the power transformer and you got the yellow filaments coming down to the rectifier tube the two blue or correction red wires coming down going to the rectifier tube the center tap the main ground lug going to the ground lug uh, the black power leads coming off to the fuse holder and to the back of the volume pot and then the uh, filament wires which will eventually go down to, to the 12AX7 and 6V6 ran to the just the top of the power tube lamp or the, the lamp and thanks for watching and if you haven't already done already please uh, subscribe and if you have any questions please comment below uh, give the video a like and uh, I'll see you in the next video